All right, guys. So officially starting the assembly of new parts on the uh, 7.3 uh, motor, which is getting the big turbo and big injectors and all that. So um, first step is we drop the old pan. I wouldn't say it was rusted. In fact, it was probably new. However, um, I don't want to take completely oil over because there's some oil in it. But you see the bottom. The bottom's dented in from. Whoever removed it, here that, that can kind of give you a good angle. So um, it's getting replaced. I've always wanted a Moroso, anyways. So putting on a Moroso, brand new Moroso oil pan with the big, good, thick Moroso gasket. Also, instead of bolts, it has studs. So I'll definitely be showing you guys that. So uh, pretty cool to see under here. Um, so I'm doing that. I also we've got this. We've got the oil cooler off. Take you guys back here. Uh, I took both ends off the oil cooler here. Cleaned the cooler up itself a little bit, as you can see. Um, and put some brand new seals in it, because it's not worth risking it. You guys know how much of a pain this job is when the engine's in the truck. So a lot of these seals tend to dry, rot out. Like, for example, this one, you just snap it in half, and you can see how hard looking it is. See that? Um, you just snap these things in half. So uh, I got some new seals and gaskets for it. The seals are already in it, so you can't see that. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but it's new gaskets. So I'm gonna get the other pan out and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the actual like, of me installing it, but I'm pretty sure last clip was um, the old pan was off. So pretty much, the next steps, once you have the Moroso, I have the pan with gasket, so what I'm about to describe to you is if you have the Moroso gasket and pan, um, which I highly suggest. It comes with studs instead of uh, bolts. So with the pan off, everything, you get these studs. They say you should leave about uh, three quarters of an inch out of the stud. You put some blue Loctite on it and you thread them in, each at the same with the same length exposed, which is again about three quarters inch. So you do that all the way around on both sides. Um, with that Loctite on it, then you get your pan with your gasket, put them on those studs, and the studs make it very easy because you know you're lined up when they're both on the studs. Throw a nut on them, on, on, on it, and then you're good. You put the nuts on, and you make sure you torque them only about, I think it's like 10 to 15 foot pounds, it's really small torque but i mean again this really just shows why oh and also you want rtv there's like seams on all four corners of this thing um so you want rtv on each corner because there's seams i can't show you because the pan's on now i'm sorry but uh, yeah as you can see though you could hell you could literally see the gasket like a cool blue gasket um, from the outside, which is very, I think that's really cool, and it just shows you how good, how the stuff, it's good stuff, you know, it's not sealant, I'm so sick of that RTV stuff that Ford puts, factory, like you see that, this one has on it, it's just gross, like you see, it's all on the outside, um, definitely a step up, um, having this fresh pan, so, definitely looking good, wasn't hard of it. It was actually a very satisfying install. Uh, me taking my time and making sure I was doing it right probably took me around two hours um, to actually put it on the block. And again, this, I cut, it comes with the O-ring. Um, with the pan, it comes with a new O-ring for this. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool install. They definitely made it pretty user-friendly, I gotta say. So, highly suggest the Moroso pan with gasket. If anything, I would recommend the gasket more than the pan, if anything. Um, because it comes with the studs, all that. But the pan's also nice too, so. Um, yep, next steps probably. Well, I'm gonna prep the block. Uh, the block needs to get painted because I can't do anything else till the block's painted. Because um, after that, I could put the new plenums on, everything could start going on. The oil cooler, I'm gonna test fit, make sure I put those ends on at the right angle. And then that's gonna go on with the new gaskets. I've got I've got a ton of new external parts for this uh, for this engine here. So stay tuned.
All right, so we just uh, laid some paint down on the engine. It's still wet, so I'm going to show you guys it when it's dry tomorrow, but I figured I'd show you. Um, I'm definitely really liking the color. It's a, it's a Ford Gray. I can show you guys the can in a second. And it is engine paint, so it's going to look really nice because wait till you see the uh, powder coat I'll be doing too. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what, but it's going to make that gray really look nice. Um, it's duple color engine, uh, engine paint. You know, Ford gray, it's a dark gray. You see the valley. All done up. And a lot's still gonna change to this. We had to paint it in order to get the new parts on, so. Plenum's changed, a bunch of stuff. You'll see, I don't really wanna give it all away yet. So stay watching. And, uh, yeah, paint's looking really good. We covered the pan, because I think it's gonna look really good with the nice shine, the, the nice, good black paint, because you can see that's a new pan, yeah. All right, guys, so uh, the paint's all dry now. Um, on the engine, I actually just took some of the masking off uh, the sensors and stuff. As you can see, I'm leaving uh, the covers on for these holes for now to the platinum just because I just don't want any grime or anything going on there until I put the new ones on that I have, which I'll be showing you. Um, I'm really, really liking uh, the color, if I could give you good angle. It's actually a Ford Gray made by Duplicolor. It's engine paint. Um, I definitely recommend putting the primer, engine primer on first. Definitely makes a little difference uh, to how it comes out, but I mean take a look. Definitely came out really, really nice in my opinion. Um, don't worry about the overspray of the valve covers. I got new valve covers coming for this thing. Um, so yeah, don't worry about the valve covers. Um, the reason why I needed new ones is because I actually bought the engine with it. Like, like, like that. So I can't use that. So uh, it was damaged when they were removing it, I guess. Um, see our Moroso oil pan on there. Did not, we actually covered this up. Did not want to paint the same color as a block just to show off that the pan has been replaced and to show off the really nice, good Moroso blue gasket in between there. Um, so that's why we covered that up. It really is just, there's just dust on it right now. That's all you see. Um, oil core, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I showed you when I put those new seals in. I tapped these ends back on. Um, made sure that when I tapped them on, these were at the right angles to go to the block. Put our new gaskets in, as you can see right there on each side, the side and that side. And, um, torque each side of spec. This side, I believe, is... This side is 24 foot pounds. That side with the three bolts where the oil filter is, is 14 foot pounds. Yes, they are different specs. So I found that pretty interesting. Um, really glad though on how the paint turned out. So I'm gonna get you guys uh, to the next segment when we were putting on something else um, or the next part of the series. So you'll see, stay tuned. Thank you for watching this engine build. It's turning out really nice in my opinion. Even got the valley clean. You'll see that every day on a 7.3, so. All right, guys, so at this point, <clears throat> I think I did show you that the engine was painted. Um, I just removed the plenums, as you see, and I cleaned um, the surface very well because Ford puts that, uh, that gray RTV. Um, they're like cement, sealant, whatever. Or it's the Ford RTV, so you got to take that off. Um, so I got them pretty clean. I might clean them the surface a little more. Um, on the driver's side, it's very self-explanatory. Um, we we'll just simply remove all these bolts. When you get to the passenger side, it is a little bit different. Um, first of all, you have this kind of double nut bolt thing here. So it's one big bolt um, with the head in the middle of it. And then there's a stud on top that this nut is attached to. Um, there's three of those on this side. This one holds down the fuel line. And these, uh, these two hold down a relay. Um, that's why they're there. But anyways, the, another interesting part about it is this bolt here does not come out. You can see there's no room for that bolt to possibly uh, come out. So what you do is you remove all nine besides this one 
and you just loosen that as much as possible till it hits this. Um, and then once you hit that, it'll give you enough room to slide the plenum out. You see how it's slotted there? That way it can just slide out instead of lift up, it'll slide backwards. Um, so that's how that works. Pretty cool. It's actually a cool design in my opinion. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know why it had to be like that, but at least they thought about it so that you don't have to like, uh, take the, take the bolt out or, uh, or so that you don't have to cut the bolt off, which would be a pain. So you'd have to cut the head, then remove the stud. So that'd be a pain. Um, anyways, so plenums are off. Now I'm really just waiting on paint. Um, all the stuff here needs to get painted, those front brackets and those headers need to be painted with high heat. That way I could put the gaskets on, I mean manifolds, I'm sorry. That way I could put the gaskets on those and the new bolts on them and throw them on. Um, so yeah, um, I just put this new crank position sensor in. Yes, I know it's not the best one. The gray color is the best one. I don't know why they sent me the wrong one. This is like the international purple one. Which is still fine. I mean, at least it's new. It's not the old junk crank position sensor, but it's not the black one, at least. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna run it. Should be fine because it is new. It is Ford OEM. So um, got that on. Dipstick tube I have just sitting in here for now. Um, it has to be also be painted. It's a brand new dipstick tube. Uh, got that old. This is a brand new dowel pan. I actually ended up breaking. Um, I, I literally snapped flush, which is a terrible thing to happen. Uh, I ended up breaking the previous dowel, um, tapping off the, uh, adapter plate, so, to the transmission. So that was fun. Um, so, just want to keep you guys updated as of where I'm at. Um, uh, right now I just really, it's just, it's not really work. It's just setting all this stuff up. So, like, I have to go... So the powder coater gets stuff powder coated. That stuff needs to be painted. Um, then I gotta mock up the T4. Um, again, yeah, and I, I can't put the new plenums on. I have new three inch I rate plenums, which is actually a crazy difference how much better they are, how much this, uh, larger the circumference is of it. Um, those I'm gonna get powder coated too, I believe so. So really, I mean, yeah, I can't put them on until they're powder coated. So that's why I'm kind of where I'm at right now. Just want to keep you guys updated. So keep on watching. We're going to start assembling things soon. Just like we have been. I mean, like so far, so far I've got the oil cooler back on, new pan. Um, you know, put new gaskets in that cooler. And a uh, crank position sensor, plenum's off. Yeah, still have a lot more stuff to go. It's really all just the little accessories. That I'm swapping out. Um, yeah, and then it's really going to be kind of a pain the whole timing with it because I'm going to have to pull my engine out, take the injectors out of my engine while, while literally while the engine's out. So I can't have this ready to throw in the second I pull the engine. I'm going to have to take the injectors out of the old one, put them in this. Uh, I, I'm changing out those injector O-rings too. Um, and I'm also going to swap water pumps from that old one onto this. So that way I don't have to mess with the, uh, taking the fan off or, or any of that. And that's also a brand new water pump. That's why I want to swap them. So yeah, it's coming along. Stay updated.